Plus, your kids may have legitimate gripes about having too much homework. We'll get some advice from an expert. Students are always complaining about homework. I know I did when I was in school, but can too much homework really make them sick? Ann Dolan is an educator and author of Homework Made Simple, Tips, Tools, and Solutions for Stress-Free Homework. And Ann, thank you very much for being here. I know parents and their children, if they're home today, are listening to this one. Are we seeing our kids with more homework now than the boomers or the millennials had? We are. We definitely are. A new study just published in the Journal of Experimental Education found that on average, high school students at top performing schools are doing about three hours of homework a night. And that's average. Some of these kids report up to five hours of homework a night. It's a lot. And they're feeling the physical effects from migraine headaches to ulcers to loss of sleep. And it does happen later and later in the evening that you're doing these because a lot of our kids are involved in after school yeah. activities so they can't start yeah. right after school closes on this so that's got to impact mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. What was interesting I found out that the Ladies Home Journal at the turn of the last century led the charge to abolish mm -hmm. homework and that California mm -hmm. actually did abolish it for about 15 years. What's the value of homework? Why do we have it in the first place? Well there is certainly a value to it when students are older but the research does show in elementary school there is really very little value. Kids doing a ton of homework um, aren't going to improve their academic skills up to about sixth grade. At that point, we do see that homework does help academic performance, but only about 10 minutes per grade level is a good amount. So when we see high school students doing three hours of homework, it's mm -hmm. too much. You reach a point of diminishing returns after two hours. That means that at that point, kids are not improving their skills. They're not really getting better academically in English reading or writing or math. And these days, elementary school students are doing three hours yeah. worth of homework with some of the project. So what are the tips? If a parent sees this and is concerned mm -hmm. and sees the physical and emotional effects mm -hmm. on their child, what do you recommend they do? They really need to keep a log of how much homework their child is doing and to also be sure that it's really not spent surfing the internet, watching YouTube videos. There's a huge distraction from media for our students these days. And so, uh, if you're working with a high school student, that child should try to keep a log and then connect with the teacher. Shoot an email and just say, hey, I want to let you know that this is taking me about two hours. Is this typical? Oftentimes, teachers don't really realize that they're assigning that much homework. And when you pile one teacher's homework on six other classes' mm -hmm. um, amount of homework, you're really looking at too much for many students. All right, so you've got to pay attention and then have the conversation with Absolutely. the teacher. It makes yes, a difference. Do. And thank you very much for thank being you. here with us. Again, the book is called Homework Made Simple, Tips, Tools, and Solutions for Stress-Free Homework for Parents and for Students. It's a good book.